All right, hey, he's me here. It's the next day, and uh, so we're gonna continue working on this uh, conduit until it rains. Okay, it's supposed to rain very soon. So if it's if it's like some real rain, like it really rains, then then we gotta stop. Okay, but if it's just like a little sprinkle here and there, then that's fine. We continue to work. Okay. Um, uh, I don't think I'm gonna do any wiring today because yeah, because of the rain. I don't want to work in the rain, the wire and all that stuff. But uh, what we can do um, is install the clamps, okay? So what I've decided is we're gonna go with these clamps, all right? These ones that uh, um, you clamp, you, you bolt it down in the center and then it like kind of raises the pipe up a little bit and then you tighten the screw and it tightens the clamp. Um, yeah, all around the thing. So so this will give me, it, it, I've noticed like, yeah, the, one, the other ones that I bought, like it's, it just, it's basically it's just a strap that, that that presses on like against the wall like the the pipe has to be right against the wall and I'm finding with all these connectors the with all these boxes and stuff I got going on um, I need a little bit it has to be a little bit off of the roof just a little bit and and that's what these will do so um, these are the ones that I, I, I kind of just you know I thought like maybe I might need them and I saw them and I just I grabbed them okay so and and apparently these are the ones that we're gonna use <laughs> okay we can use the other strapping ones for some other project I guess so um, it's always good to have those little clamps um, also my dad got me some uh, masonry bits all right I didn't have these yesterday when I was drilling into the freaking wall and and yeah that that concrete or stucco is really hard to drill through so these these bits are made to go through concrete and stuff. Okay, they're ma they're called masonry bits. Is what they got? All right, they got these little kind of arrowheads on it, sort of. Okay. I hope you can't see it too much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So so that's what we got going on today. The first one should be real easy. I'm gonna I'm gonna put one of these clamps on the rail. So we're gonna go drill a hole into the super strut, and then and then bolt the clamp to it. That because. I found out like yeah it's it's even though it even though I got it clamped to the box it still moves a little bit so it's it's too much for it to ha just that to, to to bear the weight for that that one part of the thing so and then we'll just work our way out there okay so so yeah so today I will focus on the clamps okay and we still got the final pipe to do if if it doesn't rain then I will finish that final pipe and then uh, and then yeah pretty much done so I got all the tools for success so I'm not Hades Omega is not gonna lie I uh, I am real nervous about drilling holes into the house okay especially into the stucco the the concrete on the side of the house okay so that's the way that's the way this house was built okay I think other houses are a little bit different but this house has like a layer of stucco outside or, or concrete it has and then the next layer is like a insulation and then there's a plywood Okay, so that's that's how it is. Uh, that's what that's when I drilled through the wall yesterday. That's what I found out. Okay, and then to 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 piggyback onto that, there's like an open space with it might be it might have insulation in it. I'm not sure. No, no, no. There's like a there's stucco insulation plywood and then yeah, there's that open space where they run the wires and stuff into the walls. Okay, and then there's the drywall. Okay. So that that's that's what I've learned, like how this wall is the wall composition is in this house. <laughs> okay, so so uh, I don't know. Hopefully, when I drill, the the plan is we're gonna drill into the wall with the masonry bits, and then we're gonna use these wall anchors. Okay, these plastic wall anchors. So I got my dad got from IKEA, I guess. <laughs> we'll, we'll use these. I I've used these in my room to install shelves and stuff, and and they work fine. They'll they'll hold a, like a conduit up no problems. You don't need some heavy duty stuff, man. No. Just, just to hold. This is to keep it, keep the the pipe in place. You know, the pipe doesn't weigh a whole lot. All right, and then uh, and then yeah, I don't know if it. We might run some wire if it doesn't rain, but um, and then and then today I'm planning to start working on the battery. Uh, we'll start top balancing the battery. Uh, I know it's going to take a long time, so yeah. <laughs> so so we should probably get on that. All right, and because we still have to we still have to assemble the battery too. So all right. Let's get started. Here's my gal. Okay, so here's where we are today. <laughs> so I covered the hole with a uh, with the duct tape for now. Okay, since there's nothing in there yet. Right, I got my ladder here. I'm gonna go up here, and yeah. So the so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a clamp close, maybe like a one inch, one or two inches um, from the edge of the super strut. Okay. 
Sorry, it's like super bright, but yeah, pretty much like right there. Just to hold that pipe that's coming down there. All right, I think I think one, one, one uh, clamp should be enough. All right, and then the next one will go on this wall right here. All right, yeah. And then I guess we better get our, I better get my, uh, what is that, my torpedo out to level it. Because we got to make sure, if for the most part, we want to make sure it comes out straight and then straight down, okay? But it could come at, a, it can come down at a little bit of an angle if we need to, if we miss the hole, okay? I don't know why, like, yeah, we might not hit it right on the money, so, so it's good to have a little adjustability. But once we have the clamps in place, it, they won't move, that's the problem. So we have to make sure we get it right. Um, is what I'm gonna say, okay? Uh, man, the plastic is still on those freaking uh, nuts. <laughs> yeah, so let's go. So the first one will be easy. We'll just, we just use a metal, metal like a regular um, drill bit and then we drill into the side of this and then we'll bolt it. Oh, you know what I didn't realize? How am I gonna get the nut on the other side of that? <laughs> I didn't realize that, like, yeah. We might have to drill a hole all the way through. Yeah. We might have to drill the hole all the way through, and I, I didn't realize that. Um, but that's okay. Like, not all the stuff that's on the rail, the the solar rail, the solar panel rail, racking, mounting stuff, is is not going to move anymore. It's it's all you know. It's just it's there to stay. So uh, so like I can do whatever I want with it now. So um, nothing is needs to be adjusted or moved. So we can go ahead and just I'm going to just to drill a hole straight through it, and then uh, and yeah, so put a nut on the other end. All right. Okay, I'm not sure. I think we're gonna guess, I might just use a pipe clamp. <laughs> I was looking at it, I was like, yeah, you know what? There's not a whole lot of room. There's not a lot of, there's not a lot of spacing in that box, man. It, it's gotta be really close to the rail anyway, you know, no matter what. So I think, I, I think we're just gonna put a pipe clamp. Um, Cause I, I tried, I checked both of these. This'll work, but it, it, it'll push it off a little bit. And, and it looks like it's more than that, you know, so it won't come out straight. <clears throat> and this one won't fit on there either, okay? Um, there's not enough, there's not enough s material on the super strut to use this, to mount this. So, so I'm going to go put the pipe on and we'll see Okay, so here's the plan. <laughs> so, I've got this old, I keep these old radiator hoses just in case I can use, you know, I use the rubber for like insulation and stuff. So, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around the conduit. And then we're going to clamp the conduit to the rail. So that, that way there's just a teeny tiny bit of spacing over the super strut. All right. Oh man, sorry. I can feel it. It's starting to rain. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, now it's starting to rain. Dang it. Okay. And then, so this is going to be around the pipe and then it's going to be clamped to the rail. All right. That's the way we're going to do it. Um, fortunately it's starting to rain. So, uh, okay. So. So what I'm gonna do is gonna we're gonna cut some of this pipe and we're gonna wrap it around the conduit and then I'm just gonna use a pipe clamp around there. So if you look at that, yeah, I, look, I did it already. So um, if you look at that, the pipe is being pushed away from the super strut. Um, you know, the box is literally right up on the uh, the, su the the rail. So that's what I'm gonna say. So so what we can do is uh, is you use the clamp and the rubber. Okay. So what I might do is uh, we'll just do that one, and if it starts raining more, then then we'll stop here. <laughs> okay. okay, this is that piece of radiator hose that I cut out. All right, that we're gonna put around the pipe to give it a little bit of spacing and some insulation against the super strut. That's the that's the hose that I use. So and I cleaned out all that crap that was inside it. So <laughs> okay, so I might need to cut it a little bit shorter because that's a lot bigger. So all right, all right. pick a hose clamp, any hose clamp. <laughs> Okay, right. guys, there it is. It's done. <laughs> it's very secure. Okay, so let's check it out. Get up on this ladder more. So yeah, so there, uh, there's the clamp. All right, there's a the clamp and the rubber right there. It doesn't quite go all the way around. That's okay. But yeah, pretty much when I when I when I move the conduit, the whole I can feel the whole solar panel move up and down. <laughs> so so yeah, that's on there, dude. That's not going anywhere. Okay, so now we'll go put our next pipe on, and then I guess the next clamp will be to here, okay? The strap will be here, maybe like a little bit inside. All right. Okay, there it is. The set screw's on there. Uh, I took the set screw out, okay? I took, yeah, I took the set screw out. So now there's like a big hole in there. I think and I'm not gonna use this freaking set screw. I'm just gonna fill it with something, all right? 
because it kind of hits it hits the side of the wall all right that or i can like i guess grind some of the wall a little bit or make this whole shorter but i think this will work but yeah this is solid now i had a problem with this flopping around yesterday so okay so uh so now i should probably get my level out and then figure out like uh get it level so we can run the third pipe yeah, we gotta run the third pipe and figure out where we're gonna strap it, okay? So th this is just gonna go on the wall like that, okay? Support it. And probably, probably thinking, I think maybe one here, maybe a few inches from the start here, and then maybe like one here. Probably only like two, yeah? Yeah, so maybe like one here, then one at the edge here. And then that'll be it. And then the next one will just go straight down. So I probably only have to put two holes in the wall. That's cool. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, or I'm not. I'm not really sure. Should I? Should I just have it in between both of these? So like right here, I guess would be good. Yeah, I guess so. Let's just put it in between. So there'll be like two clamps here, and then it'll be like kind of. It'll divide into thirds. So I don't think we need more than two. All right. Okay. I got our third pipe in there, and uh, and it's gonna. I'm gonna level it with the torpedo. So this is this is where we can change the um, the angle of the the piping to be parallel with the ground. Okay. So that way we, because I can only work in like 90 degree uh, 90 degree bends. So that's what I'm gonna say. So yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about running the wire through this. <laughs> I don't, am I going to be able to do it? That's a good question. Man. There's a lot of 90 degree bends, man. Um, but there's just a lot of, there's a lot of pull boxes. So I can pull it out this way and I could fish it that way and then pull it out that way. So I, I think we'll be okay. As long as we don't cut the wire. Anyway, I got my torpedo here so we can uh, level our, uh, our conduit here and it looks like that is level right there okay so we want that to be level with the ground so we can just put another one of those 90 degree dealies on there so that's how it's gonna come off the roof okay you can see you can see the angle the pitch of the roof okay now now alternatively we could go with the pitch of the roof but then yeah when I put a 90 degree uh, thing on this it's gonna go that way you know it's not gonna go straight down like we wanted into the hole so it'll be easier if we go level it with the ground okay that's that's pretty cool this one has a magnet on it all right so that's how we're going to have it uh what i'm going to want to do is put the clamp on there and then figure out where we're going to drill the hole yeah you know when when you're on top of the roof you're kind of like your uh your orientation of the world is like a little different you know oh this is a little too man, this is a really close okay Oh no, it's perfect. Okay, I'm trying to level it. Okay, so it's gonna be somewhere like around here. Okay. I should have brought a marker up here. I didn't, I didn't mark it. <laughs> it's gonna be something like that, okay guys? Um, actually, it's probably not gonna be here. Like, like I said, we're gonna try to divide this into thirds. Okay, so there'll probably be one right here and then another one like right over here okay so i think we're gonna put it we're gonna put it like right here so i think i'm just gonna eyeball it so right here is good all right so i gotta go mark it all right so we go. okay here we go this up here alternatively i could just put like something underneath it you know to help hold it up we're gonna put this right around here. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do. Ah, I can't see my ankle hurts. Okay. Like right here is cool. I'm gonna draw a line right here. I'm gonna draw a line right underneath, okay? I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a line on the the side too, just so we can get the right side profile, okay? <laughs> okay, <laughs> something like that, guys. All right, now we're gonna drop it. We're gonna take our, take 
our pipe clamp. All right, put this like right here. It should be like it was right here, right? So it's not okay. And I'm gonna go make a mark with the punch here. We're gonna drill the hole. Oh, I can barely. There you go. Okay, there's a little mark right there. Okay, I think that's where we want it. Something like that, and it'll 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 swivel. This one we can still swivel it. So. Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Now, hopefully, that's right on the money, man. <laughs> okay, I got my masonry bit here, ready to go. I hope I got the right size. <laughs> this is what we're going to be inserting into the wall. I hope Hades Omega knows what she's doing. <laughs> Sometimes I wondered at myself. Fun going. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. We got a big old hole in the wall. Play this. Bit. Nope, nope. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta make a bigger hole in the wall. Let me get a bigger drill. Yeah. <laughs> Big enough, it's a pretty big hole. Yes, that'll work. Right, let me go get a get a hammer. Okay, I can't find my mallet, but I do have my dead blow hammer. Oh, I think it needs to be bigger than that, but it's not gonna get any more than that. I may have messed it up. God, dude, what the hell? Nothing works out properly, man. Should expand that, right? Okay, so I found the smaller one. Okay, that one was just way too big. I can maybe I can just cut it. Maybe I guess. I let me see. Let's see if that works. Let me see if I can just cut it. Um, so the. There's this one versus this one. This one is so long, it's hitting the wall, the wooden, the wooden part of the wall inside. Okay, so it's just way too big. So I'm gonna try this small one. The problem is we drill, drill the freaking big hole. I, hopefully it tightens when I put the screw in there. Okay, so the screw is smaller too. So I went and got a, a washer. So, so let's give it a whirl. Oh, the whole thing just spins, man. Should be the more the more you tighten it, the more it gets tighter in the hole. So we want, okay, it's gonna, I think it's got to go like this. And there is a little bit of play too, so I guess that's okay. I guess the lowest is what we want. Okay, that looks like it's not going anywhere. Maybe I should make it tighter. I don't know. It's probably just spinning in the hole, you know. Okay, now the problem is I can't get the thing in the <laughs> I can't get the thing in the clamp. How are you supposed to do this, man? Okay, yeah, I think what we gotta do is we gotta loosen this. Ugh. We gotta take this out and then put it back in. And my knuckles are so close to the wall, I should be wearing gloves. Okay, we're gonna stick this through here. All right, and then. I'm gonna start tightening this. Okay. And it's gonna clamp onto that. It's not leveled, guys. <laughs> I don't know what happened, dude. It's not level anymore. Oh, I see. It can spin on it. So we have to have another one. But that's pretty good right there. It's pretty level. Yeah, it's spinning okay, on the clamp, one. man. Uh, I think I'm gonna make it right here. All right, right about here. So let's go slip this guy on here. Okay. Uh, we wanna make sure the screws are on top so it's easier to thing it. We'll slide this onto there and I'd say, yeah, right about here is good. Okay. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna divide the pipe up into thirds, okay? 
So it's over, everything is already all level. It's holding itself up. So it should be easier than last time, right? <laughs> right, it's still level, yep. Good. Now we just gotta. Okay. I'm gonna take it off. Pipe off again. This is hard work, man. There's like this. There's a certain process to it all. That's what I'm gonna say. The pipe doesn't screw on ter perfectly straight too. It's kind of lopsided. <laughs> I screwed it. I'm just like I don't know, man. Just not threaded it right, bro. All right, and then we're gonna put this. Okay, we're gonna. This is gonna be like right around here-ish. All right. punch to punch straight straight through the wall okay there we go there's the hole we got to drill i'm going to start with the smaller bit because the other hole is like too big now kind of screwed it up but it's okay for now ha screwed it up get that here we go good you get all the way through you can tell That's good. So let me get another one of those anchors. I think that might be good. It might need to be a little bit bigger. Just a tad. On. Okay, I've got a. Uh, I use a nut. I'm uh, using a nut as a washer. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, you want to put the screw on from the top. Screw this up on here. I hate that this screw is like so small, you know, for the hole. Ooh, that one's, this one is much more secure than the other one though. Yeah, that's not good. level okay this one is level mostly yep we're okay there we go gotta put it in from the top i guess i suppose i suppose you could do it from the bottom if you had a stubby screwdriver but yeah let's not let's do it from the top it'll be a lot easier okay and then you just clamp this Yeah, I'm kind of worried about this one. I'm kind of thinking of just trying to cut this in half and then just shove it in there. This is just way, this one is just way too long, but it would have worked, you know? It's okay, we got two of them, so. It's pretty secure. Not going anywhere. Looks good. All right, so let's double check the, uh, so this one is level still, okay? And this one is level, okay? Now there's no more room to adjust it, so we this last run here has to be perfect, all right? So now we can work on the final one. Um, the question is, how the hell am I gonna get the... Okay, problem here, guys. I can't, I can't screw this box on here, man. <laughs> it'll, it'll fit here, there's enough room, but I can't screw the box on. There's just, yeah, I can't do it while it's on here. So I think we're gonna, I don't know how we're supposed to do that. That's a good question. Uh, oh, kind of stuck now. I think we may have to use the compression fitting. I hate to say it. This I think we're at the point where like maybe we have to use the compression fitting for this. Eh, all right, man. I'll okay, figure, now we'll I know why out. you don't thread all the pipes. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to use this compression fitting because we can't screw the box on there while this is on here. Okay, if I screwed it on here and then I screwed it there, it, it's just gonna hit the wall anyway. So yeah, we're kind of screwed. <laughs> this is what, that's all I'm gonna say. So we're gonna try to use these uh, these rain tight compression connectors. All right, I hope these will do the trick. So that's good. Uh, this is for 
for EMT. This isn't for IM, IMC, you know? So I don't know. I'm kind of, we're kind of stuck now. Well, what are we going to do? <laughs> do we just put everything in place at once? I guess so. I guess that's how we're going to have to do it. Yeah. I can't just like put it in, in sections. We got to put the whole thing on in one go. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, yeah, that's how we, that's how it's gotta be done. But you know what? I think we can, we can do the last. Let's do the last. Uh, well, let's do the last pipe. Okay, so this is gonna be the last pipe right here, and it's gonna go straight. All right, there it is, guys. So that's kind of how it's gonna look. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we will not be able to tighten this onto the pipe as it is right now. I think we're gonna have to put everything in like in one go. <laughs> this is what's gonna have to happen. Um, so, so anyway, uh, we're, I'm going to take that piece of tape out there and then we're going to figure out how much of this we need to cut. Oh yeah, I have to get the other box. I, I need another box so, um, to, to go inside the house. And we're almost there, but it, just, it seems like the farther out that we go, the more problems I'm running into, okay? I, I've never run conduit before, so yeah, I'm, I'm running into some problems. But yeah, these little clamps are, are pretty good, but I, hopefully we don't have to adjust it anymore because we can't. I already put the clamps in the wall, so... Um, so anyway, that's kind of how it's going to be. It's probably going to go be in a little bit more like that, but I will hold it like that, okay? And then we'll figure out how much to cut. Uh, I got to get the second box, the one that's going to go inside the, in the wall, all right? Okay, so yeah, I just got to put this on here. It's going to be like this, okay? And I think we got to All right, cut. I'm going to make our final cut. Here we go. Uh, so I'm going to cut it. There's a line right here. I, I made it a little bit longer. If we need to cut it shorter, then we'll cut it shorter. But let's start with this here, all right? Here we go. All right, it's starting to rain a little bit. Let's check this out real quick. This is the last run to get in the house. It's going to screw in there. And oh, oh, oh. I was like, whoa, it's way too short. No, there's because there's going to be a box right here. Okay. And then that's going to be screwed in a little bit. I think we'll be OK. Maybe we gotta make it shorter. Uh, you know what? I would shorten it just a little bit. Or it's perfect. Well, I think I think I had it perfect before. Okay. We could always not screw it. We could always just not screw it in all the way. But but then like you know if it's too if it's too long then we gotta cut it no matter what. So. Okay, I shortened it a tiny bit. Cut that five millimeter lock. I think we're we'll be good. And it's starting to rain now, so I think uh, I think I'm gonna call it a day almost. Um, yeah, that's good. It's gonna go in a little bit. Yeah, that's good. If anything, it's uh, if anything, I probably shouldn't have cut it. <laughs> it's a little big. I think it'll be okay. We can always uh, we can always unscrew this side a little bit too to make it a little longer. But... Okay, so I think that's it. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, thread this pipe, and I think the way it's gonna work is uh, the whole thing has to come in at one time. Okay, we can't just uh, we can't just put it together all uh, piece by piece. It's got to be one one whole thing. So, uh, but I got the clamps in. Whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm, I don't know if we're gonna have to put the clamps. I, I guess so. We probably should, you know. <laughs> we probably should put the clamps. <laughs> we should put at least two, right? That's what I'm thinking. But uh, we'd have to put it in after, after it was in there, man. So I don't know. It's a good question. Oh, you know what? We might be able to use the the the, the claw, the little claw clamps. Yeah, we might be able to use those those the strapping clamps instead of the the clamp clamps. I don't know, but it has to be a little bit off the side of the wall too. So, anyway, we'll figure it out when we get there. <laughs> this is becoming increasingly more difficult the more 
the more uh, the more runs we do, okay? The more uh, sections we do. All right, here's what we got. I'm gonna. I think. Uh, well, I'll leave the garage. All open. right. Well, we'll guys, right, what can I say, man? It was supposed to rain today, and it's raining now. So, <laughs> so I guess we're done for today. Um, so. Into the garage. Okay, Should so uh, yeah, the uh, the last thing I was doing is that we cut the last pipe, the the pipe that's going down, okay, downward into the uh, to the garage. Um, this one right here, okay. So oh yeah, I said I was gonna do three three straps, but we only wound up doing two. So that yeah, that's what happened today. We ran that third one. And we we clamped it. So what we did is we clamped it to the rail. Okay, so you can see the clamp here. So this is that clamp. I just use a pipe clamp. Okay, <laughs> a hose clamp, basically. Um, I thought that was the best solution right there. Okay, I just wrapped some some rubber around it, and then I clamped it to the super strut, and it worked pretty damn good. All right, and it's still up there. I'm gonna leave it up there, even if it rains. I think it'll be fine. We're I'm gonna wind up taking it down anyway. So if water does get in it, I can I can clean the water out. You know, <laughs> um, I think it should be pretty well sealed though. Um, I guess we'll find out and we can find out if the roof leaks <laughs> that's another thing uh but yeah so we um yeah so we did we put an we put a clamp here okay we put a clamp here and we put a clamp here that's what we did today and then and then we ran that pipe all right and then and then uh we checked to see how long a pipe we needed and i cut it all right there it is that pipe is cut and, and then I guess we're gonna put two clamps later when we uh, when we install it. Um, that's what I'm gonna, yeah. We'll, we'll what we'll do is we'll install it, and then I'll put um, and then we'll put the clamps on the pipe, and then we'll do the same thing. I'll just draw a little stencil around the uh, the clamp, and then we'll drill a hole, and then we'll put the clamp in there, and then the clamp will go. Um, but like that's once once everything is set in the hole. I think the la I don't think we really need a clamp for this one here because the like, gravity just holds it down. But um but yeah, we'll add, we will add clamps after after the pipe goes in the garage, okay? So the final the final clamping will be that one, okay? But pretty much uh, I'm pretty happy with it how, how so far uh, it's just been a one learning experience after another. <laughs> so we're going to say okay, so the final thing I'm going to do today I guess is uh thread this end of the pipe so we can put it into the, our little box here okay and then i'm gonna thread one the i'm gonna go thread the other part of this pipe here this is the pipe that's gonna go into the garage okay um this is gonna go on that on that box like like that and then it's gonna go inside the garage um, obviously we're gonna have to cut it i don't think the wall is that thick yeah the, the wall is like it's probably gonna be less less than probably a quarter of the size that needs to go inside okay um and I think it's gonna it's gonna be hard to thread. One thing is it's gonna be hard to thread it once you get that thing smaller because look at how big my vise is, you know, and look how much room I need to work with to thread it. I need like that much room to thread it. So that's pretty much the pipe that we need. So, so we're gonna thread it before we cut it. <laughs> okay. So yeah, uh, but so far so good. Um, I just stuck a, I stuck some some gloves in the hole. Okay, on the the whatever conduit was exposed, I stuck a glove in there. Uh, like one of those latex gloves and then I put one over where the you know I removed the set screw out of one of the the pull boxes I, I there, There's like a hole in there now. I'm gonna have to see I think I'm just gonna have to seal that up because it touches the wall as well as is the problem So I'm gonna have to just seal that. Oh, you know what I could do? Ah, no, no, no I'm just just gonna put some RTV in it. I'm gonna put some silicone in it. That's what I'm gonna do. So All right, so yeah, um so I'm gonna thread this and thread this. I'm not gonna get that on video. And then since since it's a rainy day activities now, uh, we're gonna go work on the battery. So look look forward to that episode. Um, I'm gonna try to keep all the conduit stuff into one one videos, okay? But uh, but then uh, I'm gonna go work on the battery today, okay? So we're gonna top balance the batteries, all right? All right, here's me up. All right, here's me here. I just want to report that yeah, rain has finally come upon us. It was. It was raining a lot. Oh, it was coming down a little bit earlier. Like everything was really wet. But as you can see, all dry. All dry. So these are where I drilled all the, the thingies. All dry. Yep. Right here. All dry. All dry. <laughs> it's good. So Hades Omega, you did a good job installing those surf. Except for that. 
I'm not very proud of that one. <laughs> the freaking lag bulb is coming. It's hardly even in on the... Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, there's one coming out right there. But, yeah, as you can see, there's no water coming down. Anyway, there's a plant here anyways. If the water was to come down, it would feed the plant. So, it'd be all good. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't see any leaks. Even even where I put the sealant, it's still, this stuff is still tacky. Oh, but yeah, where I put all the roof sealant and stuff, there's no no leaks, none none that I can see. But I guess I guess the the, the true test will be like if it really comes down, you know, if it's really really wet. But like it just kind of rained a bit. It I'm not gonna lie, it uh it was uh it was coming down so much that yeah, water was starting to roll down the roof. So so yeah, okay. Anyway. That's that's all I gotta say. Yeah, I was curious to see if the roof leaks after I uh, after I installed the panels, and it doesn't. All right, here's the All right, he's making here. It's later that night, and I was uh, I'm balancing. I'm top balancing the batteries, so um, I'm just in the garage doing whatever. So, I I threaded the last pipe. All right, okay. I threaded the last pipe. That's it. All right, this is going to be the pipe that goes inside the wall. Okay, or the one that's going to go through the wall. Okay, it's now I still have to cut it, but if I thread it, it's okay. We're gonna because all we're gonna do is thread it onto the box, probably from the inside too. And then we're gonna cut, I'm gonna figure out how much we need to cut, and then we're gonna cut it, and then and then that's it. Okay, I'm probably gonna it's probably gonna stick out probably an inch into the box, and then, then that's it. All right, cool. Here's my out. So that this is so I put the pipe threader away, I'm done with it. Okay, it took me about probably. 20 to 30 minutes to do this <laughs> okay well, starting pipe is tough man i'm telling you all right here's me up